Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and Pegasso is done. Uh, so this is Pegasso from Diamond Art Studio. It is a 50 by 60 and he has been completed. I did start him from the bottom up. I've done him in square, uh, but I do love the ABs that are in all these sort of paint splatter bits and off his paintbrush and some of the splatter up the top and a little bit in his eyes. But yes, he is finished. So let me pop him back on his piece of pipe lagging or pipe insulation or whatever you want to call it so uh, I just have a smaller piece but as long as it's enough to stop so I roll, make sure I roll the diamonds outwards and that basically stops them squishing on each other with the weight of the diamonds doesn't have to be the full strength, strength length <laughs> to stop it uh, but I do need to pick up some more pipe stuff at some point but it is now time to de-kit so I use my Elizabeth Ward storage for this one so nothing is in order now it is a square but we've got four five six fours ones fives eights so I'm just gonna pop them into the hundreds groups so that I am able to pop them away a little bit easier. So more three hundreds. Now we do have some ABs as well so I'm going to keep them separate because my ABs aren't stored with my normal DMCs. So we do have a 700 then I've got some three thousands thousands and that's ABs. Did I have another AB? Yeah, I thought there was at least four ABs. Okay, 100, 300, 6 and 7 and 9, 3000s and 8 and an 8. So they are the numbers, or at least in hundreds order. I do also have one where if there was any with little air bubbles and things like that, I threw the random diamonds into a tub if there was no little bin handy. I think I also lost a couple in here. I also feel like this needs a little shake slash wipe out. I think I had, a it was one of those where I was going to be working on it the next day and you know when life gets in the way and you don't get to work on it and I left the clear lid off, off the storage thinking oh I'll be working on it again soon and of course as I said life got in the way and that didn't happen so I ended up with a load of dust and bits in the bottom of my tray. Okay, so we are, a say this was a square. So I do need to take my heaven and earth design painting into account. So first up, my three tens in square, I store in one of these mesh zipped bags. So first things first, I'm gonna throw them in. Not a huge amount of spares from those because um, it wasn't a prominent colour in the painting. 809 was the prominent colour, so I have loads of those. I think these are going to need a little bit of a goo gone wipe when we're done. But let's. Oh, I've got some 300s. I need some of those for my heaven and earth design. So that's always a good one to have extras of. Speaking of heaven and earth design, this is my photo box that I store 
diamonds that I know I need for my heaven and earth design. So 300 is one. I did actually empty all the ones I had the other day into my heaven and earth design so I could continue. So I have a few here. I have had a very a couple of people very kindly offer to send me some as well. So hopefully I will have enough to finish all my heaven and earth designs. Okay, so 300 is done. 318 is also in this. Well, I don't think it's in my big heaven and earth design. I think 318 is in my heaven and earth design mini. And when I say mini, it's not mini. It's still huge. But basically anything that I need for either of my two heaven and earth design projects that I think if it's if it's I need over a thousand or over two thousand diamonds, I can't remember what criteria I used at the time, um, then I store the extras in here because I'm likely to need more than what my spare storage holds. 414 is another one. This one might actually be in both paintings. I do have some that nestle across the two paintings. So let's pop some 414 away. Again, that was just an accent colour. So it wasn't loads of that one that was used. So 414. Don't need 415. 646. Nope. 762, no, 814, 823, 898, nope, 902, 938. So I'm just double checking my numbers as I go along. I don't think there's going to be a huge amount because it's quite bright colours in this. And the bright colours that I use for my heaven and earth design um tend to be lower numbers because it is quite a dark image that I'm doing so I don't tend to find that many of these will cross over it's mainly the greys and the browns that I've pulled out of which there's been a few but not too many okay so that is all my diamonds put away for potential use for my heaven and earth designs which is the different from the norm, should we say. So now it is time to put away in my normal spare storage that a lot of people have. <clears throat> so I have three boxes for storing my spare square diamonds. These are my 100s to 600s. So 150 is the first one. I have space in the bag. So we'll pop these few in. So we've got 150. Take the sticker off. I've got to take the sticker off as I go along because it is such, it is not the most exciting part of de-kitting. I would much rather not have to mess with a sticker when de-kitting, but I can't do it. I know some people do kit up and they just put the numbers like one to sometimes even 60 on their bottles. Uh, and the number one on their canvas is where they put the number one in for their diamonds. But for me, personally, I can't be doing with looking at the at the legend on the canvas every si the ledger every single time before being able to pick up a colour. I much prefer having the symbols on my storage so I am just looking at where I want to place diamonds and I can look straight at my storage. So for that reason I will just have to take taking stickers off bottles to be able to do it the way I want to. Right, 154 is a pretty full bag for me, but there is not a lot of these left because there was not a lot of them in the first place. So I reckon I can squeeze them in. And sometimes it is just worth me squeezing those extras in 
than getting my extras extras box. Okay, 100, done. 304 is next. Got a few more to add to that. There's some really, really nice funky colours. Well, as you can see, um, there is, yes, quite a few pinks for Pegasso himself and quite a bit of blue for the background, of which I have quite a lot left. But there are so many other fun colours in this painting. I'm hoping my nails don't get shot peeling all these stickers off. Okay, 304. Now we're on 400s. So scoot up to my 400s. 413, again, pretty full bag. But I have even less of these left because there was not a lot on the painting. There probably was only that many on the painting in the first place. So having that many left still meant that I got pretty much double the diamonds than what I needed. So that one can go away. I'm wondering how many of 809 I've got. Because I reckon I'm going to be filling a bag wherever that's up to. Oh, that sticker came off awful. It has fully got itself leaving half a coating on there. I don't mind if it leaves the sticky because my Goo Gone will get rid of that. But I like all the paper part of it to be gone. Uh, I do also have my ABs to do as well, which I will do at the end because my ABs are stored a different way. And they're all hung up pretty for me to see and possibly use. So four, three, four. Four hundreds. Done. Let's see if I can get this sticker off without ending up with sticker sheet everywhere. Peel it round as I go. Oh bit more breathing room for my box now. Uh, 517 is the next one. Gorgeous deep blue. Five one seven. Not got any new numbers yet, but it is harder, harder and harder for me to get a new number in squares because squares is the diamond that I have the most of and it is rather rare. In fact, there is not many diamonds that I don't have in squares to actually potentially be able to find an empty bag. I don't know how many it is, but I know it's not many. Okay, 550. I'm trying to use the sticker to get up the last bit of sticky. And then 600 so that we can finish up this box. 606 is pretty full. Uh, I don't have that many left actually. I thought it was quite a few, but they're just laying in a little sliver. So let's see if they'll fit. Oh, yes. Still plenty of room. So 606 is done. It's my ABs I'm actually looking forward to popping away. I know a couple of the colours I already have. I'm not sure about 701. But I love the way my ABs are stored. So I'm, I'm quite excited about putting them away. It's a bit of a different change. I don't always have AB diamonds to put away. So it, I say it will be nice to be putting something a little bit different away from de-kitting. 
go and look for those differences because while I do enjoy de-kitting sometimes if I do too many in a row it can it can feel as though it's a little bit I don't know it's not as exciting as kitting up but maybe that's because kitting up involves the excitement of a picture a new picture a new design to do and all that sort of exciting stuff that goes with kitting up okay so my 100s to 600s are done then i have 700s to 900s this one is pretty full so to anybody that may be quite new to my channel um this spare storage system i came up with probably about four years ago now it is widely used by many. I think many don't even know where it originated from, but now you do. It originated in my head, and I think when I first came up with the idea, I think I may have been at, I think I was at my mum's in Australia. I tried the basketball baseball card method you know the divided up pockets where you could slip a bag in for each one and I actually first up set up that system and I really did not like it it works for some the reason I personally didn't like it was the binders ended up being like you know thicker than they should have been you know when you when you fill up a book and it splays out i don't like that um then of course when you laid it flat occasionally if you had you know a section where quite a few of them were at the top it would be thicker than maybe at the bottom where you know you didn't have as many diamonds and then ones could slip out the pockets and you didn't have any room to grow for example if you wanted to save all like you would get to the point where you know a baggie became full and you couldn't fit any more in there and it just yeah it just did not work for me personally um, so I did sit there and I do remember thinking about it at my mum's um, and that's when I thought you know baggies yes but some way of storing them upright and letting them expand oh they do all fit i thought i was going to end up with loads and loads of extras but no they've added on top of the ones i've already got and the bag's not quite full um yeah so i wanted this system when i first it's gone through a few different changes for me personally and my circumstances but the basis of it has stayed the same. So when I say it's gone through a few changes, if you have a look, for example, my original videos when I set this system up, didn't have any pretty labels. Um, it was a little sticker and um, a little sticker and baggies. I used to actually de-kit every kit into its own bags so i'd be de-kitting this one and i would write out a label for each bag and i would tip it all into a fresh bag and then i would add the bag behind my dividers so i could for example in 826 have about four different baggies in there they would just get added so that if there was any color variant um the colour variants would be in different bags. However, after a bit of time, I realised that for me, I was diamond painting loads, and still do, um, and there just became too many bags in each section. So I then decided to club them together. So I would have a bag that was Initially, I'd have two bags in there per shape. So I would have a bag that was um, all the companies apart from Evermoment. Uh, because the Evermoment on AliExpress, their diamonds are really nice. 
So I would have the Ever Moment diamonds separate and I'd have two different lots. I would still keep different shades separate and I stayed with that for a while. Um, then I found, again, it's it was space. You know, I do have space to keep my spares. I want to keep my spares. Um, I want them in case I'm ever short on a painting because I'm too impatient to wait for a company to send me them. I also want them because I am doing the likes of my Heaven and Earth design project where I'm using my spare diamonds to create a picture uh, from a cross stitch pattern. But my boxes were spreading too much primarily because of things like having separate bags for each one. It just became too much. So I then went to put in everything into one bag. Um, the idea of that is yes, I do sometimes have different shade colours of, of the same DMC number according to dye lots. But if I ever need them for a painting, I can tip them into a tray and pick the ones that match the best. Normally, if you're adding them to a diamond painting that's ran out, for example, then you probably, oh, I do have a new colour though. Uh, you're probably talking, you know, 20 diamonds that you're short. But it's easy enough to pick 20 of the closest colour out of what you've got and do it from there. Okay, so I'm gonna put 894 back. I'm gonna keep that container out and not remove the sticker so I can update my logbook with the new colour. And I'm gonna move on to the 900s. Um, yeah, so I started keeping them in one bag. Oh, another one. But I would end up with multiple bags. Um, I then decided to split my rounds and squares because originally I had them both in the same box. I had the rounds in front and the squares behind. I decided to split them into two, which does stop me. It does take up more space, but it does stop me making a mistake of grabbing the wrong bag and tipping them into the same one. Um, and I do only have two boxes for when I de-kit rounds, uh, which is a lot quicker than de-kitting squares. Um, and yeah, this is what I'm on at the moment. I will allow one bag to fill and then I will pop them into a completely separate box, which is for me to give away. So that could be somebody else who's doing a heaven and earth design project. It could be, um, there's a Facebook group, most countries have them. Uh, so there's a Got Diamonds UK Facebook group where people can ask for diamonds if they're short and don't have them. And I can just give away from that box to whoever needs them. Sometimes they go to people for projects who like to just make you know, pretty patterns and stuff out of spare diamonds and just make nice designs and they're not as fussed about what the DMC number is or things like, or what colours they are. They just like to make patterns. I can give them those. So there's a few different things, but I've limited myself to one full bag, thinking that that is plenty, more than plenty, if I ever run out. But each person's different. The main thing is this storage works whichever one of those options works for you. And that's what I love about it. It can expand with you. So once you've created this, if this box got full, you can get another one and just shuffle stuff over. You're not having to completely revamp it and completely edit everything you've ever done. You can just scoot it over. And since I've done it, it is of course got a lot prettier. So we now have the stickers that we sell in multiple colours in our shop um, that make the front card's pretty. We also sell the cards. And then that number's first. I'm just trying to work out which one was first. Uh, and then we also have the little stickers that go on the bags as well to make them super pretty. 
So we're making things easier for you guys while also making de-kitting enjoyable and organised, which I love. Nice, organised, lined up. And I do just, I do have bottles in the end of some of my rows until they expand and end up with a few more in it. Or maybe one of my other boxes will fill up and I'll have to scoop a few of the colours over to here. Whatever it may be, I have the ability to move it about as I need to. Right, they're three sevens. So three seven oh eight. See, this one is a slightly different shade to the one I already have, but that's fine. They'll go in together. We'll sit there together. And if I ever have a kit that's missing any, I will pick the closest match. I'll just tip them into a tray, pick the closest match, fill in my gaps and carry on. And when I do a heaven and earth design project, so the two heaven and earth design projects that I've done with my spares, I try to make sure that it's an image that can cope if the colours are a little bit different. So my heaven and earth design massive project um, because most of the time the diamonds aren't right next to each other so it's not a big block of colour where I'm using multiple different shades it is they're scattered so it's like blossoms on the tree that really if one is a slightly different shade of pink to the other it's fine it doesn't look any different it copes completely fine with being multiple shades and you can't tell so I purposefully picked a design that could cope with different dye lots if I had different dye lots and so far it's working grand okay three eights so we're on the last of the three eights now for my normal spares and then I'm going to get my logbook out, I think, and update these. And then I'll keep my logbook out in case I need to update my ABs. Because I did my logbook update at the beginning of September. 1st of September, made sure I got that logbook updated. I think I've, I've scheduled in Octobers. And I think the 1st of October is actually our um, launch announcement weekend so because it's launch announcement I've actually moved my logbook up to the 31st of September so I can make sure it's updated got to make sure it's updated November's will be at the end of the month as well because December will be advent time so three five it's snuck back down there it is stuck up just a little bit Three eight three five. There's a lot of three eight numbers in DMC, especially compared to three six numbers. That's all there is. Just a few for us diamond painters, not too many, but they do get used quite a bit. So three eight forty. Um, when I created my box, I did decide to put the baggies and the stickers and stuff for every single colour. Because I had so many anyway, I put them in for every single colour. And then when I don't have the colour, I have a bag ready with a label on it. Some people who maybe have just started out only put the labels on and the stickers on as they get each colour. So you can create the storage organization as you go along and if sitting there and creating the storage isn't something that entertains you because we're all different I personally love it I will sit there and create storage boxes with a smile on my face but I know it's not for everybody so some people will just put the stickers on as they de -kit. okay so it's in my Log book section. So I have my spares. So my two new ones are 894, which is one 
that is in my heaven and earth design so i do have some of them but they're all in my heaven and earth design painting so now i can if i can find my pen i can tick it to say that i have some more so if i ever run out on my heaven and earth design i know i have some in my spares so my heaven and earth design must have less than a thousand in it and sometimes i have gone into my spares and grabbed some not all the time but sometimes and then 917 that also is one that i do have in my heaven and earth design but didn't have in my spares box So when I say that there's not many squares I don't have, it's because a lot are in my heaven and earth design. So like this first row, 167 is one I don't have. This row, 422. Couple more in the 500s that I might have in square but not in round. But really on the grand scheme of things, I have loads. I have loads and loads of them. Let's have a look actually at my ABs. So my spares ABs. So 701, that's the one. Oh, I do have it. I do have 701 in squares. 5200, I know I have. And then 995 and 996, yeah. So I actually have all of these already. So I won't need to update my logbook to say I've got them. So in that case, let's pop my logbook away. One of my two. I have one that houses my spares and paintings that I've done. And then I have one that's a bit bigger um, that holds all my diamond paintings in my stash. I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing that I have more in my stash than I've done in the last year. Probably a bad thing. Not forever, not ones that I've done over all time, but ones that I have done. Right, let's pull that that way. Okay, so this is how I store my ABs. So they're on a book ring with these bags that we sell in the shop, and then I use blue instead of pink little squares to say this is 5200 but then I also have AB141 which is the Diamond Art Club code for these because Diamond Art Club use their own coding so that is their own coding converted into normal speak for the rest of us so i put both on there so it doesn't matter which one i'm de-kitting i can see which one it is and i've actually marked both in my logbook as well my logbook has the diamond art club babies as well as what dmc number it relates to okay five two hundreds so where's my next bag so i'll pop that one back on 605 I have had but I think I must have used it all 701 there it is so 701 is not one that Diamond Art Club actually uses because I haven't put the code on for it I've put the code on for everything I think that they do whether it came from them in the first place or not and then I just like to flatten it down before I pop it back on just to make sure that all the air is out so they don't take up any more space than they need to and I have used quite a few of these ABs um, when working on my paint gem mini sets throughout June um, I changed some of the colours for ABs to give a little bit of sparkle to some of them. So 995 can go in there, and that is one used by Diamond Art Club. It's Art Club, Diamond Art Club, call it AB137. Where's 
whereas Diamond Art Studio give you the DMC number. So it just takes a step out of it really. Saves you having to compare. But if you do have stickers for them, then you can always add both so that you can de-kit either company and not have a problem. And there we go. Let's put, put them back around. All my ABs are away so they can get hung back on my pegboard. Ikea have this little new little thing, a uh, new little bar that fits on one of their pegboards uh, with lots of little hooks at the bottom. And if you use two of the hooks for your book ring, you can have your book ring on it lying flat and your bags lined up like little soldiers. It's great. <laughs> I found that when redoing my craft room. Okay, so all the diamonds are away. So last thing to do, but by no means the least, because I think this makes a big difference when it goes to kitting up, is I like to get rid of any sticky residue that I may have from the stickers with a little bit of glue gone. And some of these boxes are better than others. Some of them do have a bit more residue on than others do. And it probably would be easier to take them out one by one, but I'm just going to take out the stubborn ones. I am going to hold them at the top though so that they stay together. That makes it a lot easier. Make sure I've got my finger in a piece that's actually got some glue gun on it. You don't need loads of it for this. And I only stick my stickers on the left. them on the left at the bottom so I'm just going over that part where I can see any residue from the stickers I had on them just to clean up my storage because there's nothing worse than getting your storage out to do a painting and realizing that it's all bunked up from the last one especially when you've got a painting that's you know it's shiny it's new it's it's fresh it might have been a painting that's just arrived in the post that morning you lose a little bit of the excitement if you take out your storage and you're like oh that doesn't look pretty I mean I must say this doesn't look like new don't get confused. This, this storage does not look new, but at least it can look clean. And then I just, I'm just going to wipe down those, but they shouldn't really have much residue unless I didn't do a do good job last time. And I'm just getting a dry bit of the cloth just to get rid of any of the last of the goo gone from it. Put my lid back on. That seems to have oh, I've just wiped off pretty much straight away. Easy peasy. So that can go back into its box now for whatever future project it may or may not be used for. But yeah, Picasso is done. Which I think one, he's absolutely adorable. But second, I'm also very, very excited now because I get to kit up another large painting. Oh, I don't straight after filming this video. I have other ones to do. Uh, but it is scheduled for a video for this week. So stay tuned. I'm going to let the app decide what painting I'm going to do next. All my new ones that I put in my logbook have been put in my app which means it could pick a very, very new one as much as it could pick an old one. And I don't know which one it's gonna pick. But anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna be very excited when I get to do that video. But thank you so much for watching this de-kitting and I will speak to you all again soon. <laughs>